Hello my little potato chips, it's wee Patty from Across the Shock and I'm calling this a mega unboxing because for me it is, it's a big unboxing um, compared to my normal ones. Uh, I've gathered up stuff over this last week or so and uh, I've sort of got quite a lot so I'm really looking forward to showing you it. And uh, down below, whatever you would like to see first, if you would put that down below, whatever is the most, I'll do the first video on when I start doing this lot of knives. And EDC gear, so there's everything today. So I'm going to start off with, um, this is an older model of a knife, but I've never held it in hand and I want to review it and do it. It's the MKM Root, which is in titanium, M390. Um, really, really nicely made, crown spine. Uh, MKM is the Manio, Maniago Knife Makers. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and they're just doing great stuff at the minute. You can't fault what they're coming up with. This is a slip joint. I love these little three holes. That's your modern nail neck. Um, you don't really need them. It's pulled out. Now, it's a nice firm pull. Um, but it's not too strong and it's not too... This is just perfect for a little EDC knife for everyday work. Can I get all four, four fingers on? No, it's about three and a half. I'm holding here, but if you sneak up here, I can get all four on the knife and it's quite comfortable to use there. But to be honest with you, three fingers and I get a good enough grip. It's a thick enough handle that I don't need the fourth. There's a little Al had put, um, i done this in a trade, sorry, with Al over at UK Legal Carry Knives. Um, and it's just, I first impressions is really good. It's a lovely thin blade stock. It's a full flat ground. It looks beautiful. I can't wait to use this. This is one of the nicest I've seen in a long while. For a, a knife that's going to be a user, this is definitely a user knife. Really nice action on it. Doesn't sound like a traditional, but it's a modern traditional. Now, they come in these pouches, which is the magnetic one that you can put around your belt or put in your trouser. But I think this is just a bit too big. For this pouch but i'll use this with other knives and i'll show you that later on as we go through the knives so there's your first one we've got the mkm root really excited about that knife that's one of the nicest i've seen in a while <clears throat> now what have we got next you'll not be surprised we have a gec and this is one of the new batch this is the urban jack this is the number 15 boys pattern with a beautiful blade with a lovely etching of Urban Jack the Barber. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that spear point. Isn't that just gorgeous? And the etching really stands out in this. Although, if you're going to use it, the etching will rub off eventually. And it's carbon, so it's going to stay in anyway. Well, unless you're going to keep cleaning it, which I don't, as you know. And look what you get. The BRR. The, the Beard Refuge Removal Tool. I just love it. It's a great beard comb. As you know, I've got a beard and I've been using this the last couple of days. It's a great beard comb. It's a, I know it's novelty and, I, you know, it's micarta. It's green micarta. Sorry, there's green micarta inlays on this as well. But this is green micarta. Uh, lovely feeling to it. But listen to the click on that. Isn't that just beautiful? Now, I didn't fancy the other one that got with a fork on it, but lovely lanyard hole at the end here if you want to use one. Love the shield with the Urban Jack on it. Just a really nice knife. So I'm looking forward to using this a bit more and then doing a review on it. But beautiful knife, as usual, from GEC. So there's your first two offerings. Not bad to start with. Now, this next knife was a complete surprise. Jason Gilfoyle had sent this through one of his friends in the UK to send to me from him. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? I don't have anything like this in my collection. Um, I'm not sure what it, whether it's damas steel or whatever it is, but I'll find out before I do the review. It's snake wood handles, which I love. Um, I have a lovely little knife that pairs well with this too, so I'll show that in the thing. Lovely big lanyard hole at the back of it. Brass bolster, well, no, it's maybe nickel silver. 
uh, steel backspring and liners, but really well made. And who made this, I hear you ask? Tucson. How beautiful is that? I mean, we're, we're used to seeing Tucson making all these fancy titanium knives for next to no cost. This is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. The fit and finish of this little knife, absolutely great. And for the price of it, you definitely couldn't go wrong. You couldn't go wrong. It's beautiful. So I'm really looking forward to using it. That's a Sunday knife, isn't it? Is that not just that? It's just beautiful. There we go. And here is probably my... Um, in fact, I'm going to leave that to the end. I'm going to leave that to the end. I'm going to do a couple of things that I bought. Look, you know me. I always have. I keep buying things from AliExpress and Chinese companies and Amazon now starting to do more of their sort of things. And I managed to get this on Amazon, which I used to get from AliExpress. I think these cost £3 delivered. And all it is is an extended pen. You just put it on your key ring and then you... Oh! Oh! <laughs> I've just pulled it off! Ah. Now, that's why you should always test things before you buy. <laughs> it's bust. <laughs> it's not bust. This is stuck on here. I'll have to fix. I'll have to. I haven't even taken it apart. This just extends and then you pull this out. It's a friction fit, but it's friction fitted too well. <laughs> I can't believe that. I'll maybe get back to you with that. Look, I ripped that completely off. I'm a big, strong boy. So <laughs> I'm not going to recommend that already, but it was from Amazon, about £3. I had one before and they were really good. It lasted me for years in my key ring. Once I get that pulled out, it'll be okay. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Right, here's another thing that cost about £3 on Amazon, and it's just a simple little torch. They're generic makes. Other people put the name to them, but this is just the one with no name. It's a little clicky switch at the top, and it's about... 120 lumens and that's it it's on and it's off it's a great little light runs on a triple a AAA battery you can clip her on there to your pocket or you it's just a lovely handy little night and that's it for three pounds so if you want to build up i was trying to build up a cheap edc carry um this will work i'll, I'll get that sorted but this is just a lovely little cheap flashlight uh, that if you want to put in your pocket with a AAA battery. I know some people like batteries rather than having the uh, rechargeable one. So there we go. That's a nice little cheap one there. That was on Amazon. This was from AliExpress. It's stainless steel. It has a little uh, centimetre marker there. And um, does it have an inch one? No, just centimetres. But goes in your keychain. And it's a little, uh, there we go. A little ruler. Isn't that lovely? It's only about a, a, a yard long, a metre long, but a really lovely little thing um, to have on. It, look, how often do you need a ruler and you don't have one? Or a measuring tape, I should say. So there's another wee thing that I picked up. Um, now, this is one that was sent to me. This is by a company called Wubin, and they make flashlights. And this comes like this. And this is their model. Let me just see. This is the model H3, and it's a headlamp. It's 120 lumens, and I know in the world out there, when you've got all these 14,000 lumens and all, you don't need that on a, on a night out. If, if it's a blackened area, 100 to 120 lumens illuminates plenty for you to see. We're not tactical. We're just walking the dog or we're out at night. So I really like this for... It's just basic. It runs on a, I think it's a triple, two AAA batteries. Something like, let me just get checked that. I think it's, I'm just checking this while I'm here so I don't waffle. Yeah, it's two AAA batteries. Just placed, they're watertight in the back there, or as watertight as that would be. But here it is, little headlight. Comes complete with this. This rotates completely all the way around. Um, smashing little light and the nice thing about this is the actuation of it is so simple i'll try and turn this away from you so oh there you are you get a good strong headlight in it i mean that is a strong headlight uh you hit that again and it'll give you the sos oh 
Oh, hang on, I'm getting this. Oh, it's change over. Sorry, there's two buttons. Look at that. Isn't that cracking? It's a little red flashing light. Now, I'll tell you what, I that would be great for the back of a bicycle because you can see the red flashing light for miles. Sally has now got one of those electric um, chairs that she goes out in, you know, when we're going for a longer walk. Um, after she had the stroke, she can't walk as far. So we got her one of the electric ones and I put it on the back of it and it's absolutely cracking. And before I do the video, they're actually out of stock and <clears throat> they're out of stock on Amazon. But when they come back in stock, I'll let you know. And there's different colours you can get as well. It's a very simple, light little plastic light. And again, on batteries rather than the plug-in. I've tried to go for two of the same here, which gives people options. But isn't that a cracking little headlight? It's just lovely. Um, this is fully adjustable. This goes right round the seat or tightens up in your head. Excellent little bit of kicks from Wuben. So they'd send me that to review. I will do the full review on that once they come back in stock and I can get them. But if you ever see one, I'm telling you now, they're great. They're great. So what else have I got? All right, I'm going to show you my favourite piece that I've got to show you. And it's this. It's a GEC number 54. It's the Bullhorn Moose. Is that not an orange crush? Orange crush? I can't speak today. My teeth are loose. Orange crush acrylic. Isn't that gorgeous? Slanted bolsters, which you don't see often with a GEC. Pinched. It's just a joy. It really is a joy. The fit and finish is absolutely stunning. And this knife is from 2009, which is by far my oldest GEC. Don't forget, GEC only started in 2006. So this is a really early GEC. But let me show you these blades. Look at that clip. Is that look? You know I love my GEC clips. But look at the size of that big beastie. It is just a huge clip. There's to that knife. It is a huge clip. And on the other side, there you go. Two full clips. Now, and you can see either side, you've got the long pull switch for what other side of the blade it's on. I just am totally blown away by this. This is what I would call an amazing user. But because of its age, and I, you know, I don't know. I haven't made up my mind whether I'm going to use this, and that's me just being honest. I don't know. I say this all the time, and then I, I end up using them because usually my really good knives I want to use because they're really good knives. <laughs> but we'll see how we go. I can't wait to do the review and let you see this up close and personal. Really lovely, lovely knife. And then I'm going to throw something in here quickly, and we'll move on. I have got... The small Benchmade Mini Bug Out clone. Uh, some news about this too. Not maybe the best buy, but that's why you come to my channel. Because I do things like that. Aluminium scales on this. £17. <laughs> there we go. We'll talk about that in the upcoming weeks. So I'm going to take that off so I don't disturb these ones. I just love that. I can't believe that pen fell apart on me. <laughs> Good old Paddy. There we go. That's what it's like when you buy cheap. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, that Wuben, uh, Wuben light. I'll do the full review once it comes back in stock on Amazon. So I hope you enjoyed that. Whatever you want to see first, let me know down below and I will do the review on that first. Take care, everybody. Paddy's away. Cup of tea time. Bye now.